Hi, Lauren Witz Grieber, Witz Real Estate. I haven't reminded you in a while, but there should be a subscribe button below. If you get to the end and you see my round face, definitely feel free to go ahead and hit that. Uh, that way you can subscribe and you will be alerted to every time I film a new video. I try and do it every Monday, of course. But I'm sharing something with you that I received in my email last week. It's from Housing Wires. What is she? She's the editor-in-chief. And um, it actually made me laugh, so that's why I'm sharing it, but it has some good information, very brief. Uh, just like, well, let's say Biden and Trump, and this is about as political as I'll get, but let's say Biden and Trump are both looking at an orange, and one of them says it's an apple, and one of them says it's a pear. So you're looking at the same thing, but you get two different opinions, which I, it happens all the time in real life, in political life, in real estate life. But the big news that she pointed out was that the National Association of Realtors reported 5.86 million homes sold in the month of July, the highest monthly level since 2006. Does anybody remember what happened in 2006? So the highest monthly level of homes sold in July since 2006. I'm not even going to talk about what the average price went up because anybody that's paying attention knows that it's gone up significantly. But um, somebody reported from Black Knight, and yeah, I'm, I'm look, yeah, looking at my notes because I love the notes, reported that the overall mortgage delinquency rate fell to 6.91% in July, but the number of seriously delinquent mortgages actually rose 20% from that month, which could be a bad sign. There was one other note, um, uh, Logan Montashami, lead analyst for Housing Wire, is glad that you asked about the overall housing picture. Let's just say that this is the final nail in the coffin for the housing bear troll camps that were so, so sure that this time housing would finally crash. Flash forward to Realty Track. Realty Track is the company that follows um, uh, foreclosures and uh, homes that had a notice of default. That's, their, that's what they do. Since 1993 it is. That's what Realty Track does. So when you're listening to one guy say that the orange is a pear, now comes the other guy that says the orange is an apple or whatever I used in the beginning. And this is Realty Track just brought back industry power player Rick Sharga. I have no idea who he is, but whatever. They consider him a power player. So unless they are also seeing foreclosures coming back in a big way after the forbearance runs out, why did they bring him in? Rick said the company is also looking at other areas of real estate investment, but hmm, still. This is exactly the words, hmm, still, from Sarah Wheeler, Housing Wire, Editor-in-Chief. So I look at everything. You know I look at everything. You know I'm, I am the truth teller. I am not going to ever bullshit you. Excuse my words, but I'm never going to try and BS you. Housing is incredible right now. Incredible seller's market. I actually reached out to two of my uh, people that actually live in another state and still have their homes in California. I'm like, yeah, you might want to consider selling your home now. Uh, I talked to somebody this morning. She's got a house. She wants to move out of the area. I'm like, eh, you should consider selling it now and maybe rent until next year. Um, rent, yes, you're throwing money away, but we're going to have a correction. Big dog realty track coming back in, mortgages, foreclosures, notice of defaults, we're going to see it. Um, that's my opinion today. That was the letter from the editor-in-chief of Housing Wire that I wanted to share with you. I found it interesting how we can have two different sides, have such different opinions, but I see it all the time. Um, feel free to reach out to me for any questions that you have about real estate in Santa Clarita, San Fernando Valley, Southern California. Uh, Lauren at KeepYourWits.com, definitely coming across. You can always text me. You can call me, 661-313-5470. I did get a funny text the other day. It was from an 818 number, which is kind of local, and it said, so, so beautiful. And I thought, well, that's really weird, block. So. If you want to reach out to me, definitely give me some reason as to why you're reaching out. I'm not going to answer some strange phone call, and I'm not going to respond to that text. Lauren Witz Grieber, Witz Real Estate. Circle should be here somewhere. Feel free. Go ahead and hit it, and uh, have a great day. Bye now.